So now I'm gonna showing you guys how you can 100X the energy on your music videos super easily inside of Premiere Pro. If you're new to the channel, my name's Jacob and I run the Tiny Tape shop where we sell editing plugins, presets, and a bunch of other editing packs that'll help you level up your edits. So if you're interested in any of that, it'll be linked below. So opened up in the timeline here, we have this laser dim music video and it's a great music video, but I think it's very cut raw, which is what I like about it, but I think it could use a little bit more energy. No diss to the editor and I think you did an amazing job. I just think it could use a little bit more sauce and I'll be showing you guys how you could add more energy just like this today. So let me play the music video through for you guys. So super clean, very quality footage. You guys are wondering what this is in the bottom right corner. It's my plugin called Fast Effects that allows you to add hits, transitions, flashes, wipes, and a new section that I'm working on here that'll be out with a free update very soon. We'll jump into this and its workflow and how you can add energy with this. But first, let me put you guys on to a free way that you can add energy. And we're gonna start off by creating an adjustment layer over here by right clicking, going over to new item and clicking adjustment layer. We're then gonna hit okay and drag and drop it into our project. Now, these adjustment layers are gonna be the base to adding energy to our videos. We're going to be using this as the kind of thing to work on. So a couple effects you should know and that you should be aware of are number one, we're going to go ahead and play around with transform here. Number two is lumetri color. Number three is directional blur. And there are a couple other ones, but I'll get into them later on. So let's go into effect controls now. I'm going to turn off transform and directional blur for now. And let's just work on lumetri color. I'm going to place this adjustment layer directly in between our two clips. And we can count with our arrow keys that it's six frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to make yours smaller or make it six frames, you press the C button on your keyboard, the C key, and then you can cut it. Press V to go back to normal, click it and delete it. Super, super simple, but ours is already preset to six frames. So we're going to open up basic correction here, go over to exposure, and we're going to turn this up to six. We're then going to set a keyframe for that. Click on our arrow key on the left and go two frames to the left, just like that. And we're going to reset it and then go four frames to the right, as you guys can see right here. And we're going to reset that as well. So we get this sort of like flash transition. What we can do now is hold option and click and drag. If you're on Mac, it'll be alt on Windows. And we could basically just put this in between a bunch of our clips. So if I play this through, you guys can see it adds a lot of energy, creates like sort of like a flash transition. So another one we could do right here, right where the beat hits, we'll just duplicate another one of these just by holding alt or command or option, sorry, and dragging. For this one, I'm gonna turn the exposure to like two. So it's super, super light. But for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up directional blur and I'm gonna go ahead and keyframe directly in the center here. We're gonna turn the blur length to like, let's do like uh, 25 and keyframe that and then go where these keyframes were and reset them. So we get kind of like this hit transition. If you wanna make it happen faster, um, what we could do for that is just move these a little bit closer, just like so. And then we can highlight all of these, right click and go over to auto Bezier. So maybe that's a little bit too fast. Let's actually go ahead and move these back to with the auto Bezier on and we'll see how that looks. So that's an all right kind of transition there. Now you could add transformed it here. And what you could do here is exactly where this scale lines up as well. You can set a keyframe and set this to like 115, so like 115. And then once again, uh, this time we're actually gonna go back all the way to the beginning and then reset the uh, scale here. So it starts at 100, goes into 115 and then comes out. So we get a little motion there and then we could also highlight it, go over and do auto bezier. So super clean. And then a really cool one we could add here with our adjustment layer is this is one of my favorite ones to do. So what we could do is keyframe the exposure, go over one frame, and then we'll do like negative two for it to go down. And then we'll do like uh, one to go positive. And then we could just like copy and paste this a bunch of times to kind of get like a flicker effect. Maybe that's like a little bit too intense. Let's try something different here. Let's do like four, right? And then we'll like go like negative four and we'll just like play that a bunch maybe that's yeah, not bad and we could just duplicate that that added a lot more energy as you guys can see there so essentially what these are are these are like kind of like energy presets that i'm creating and adding um and that's what this extension or plug in fast effects is here so you guys can see we have a bunch of preset ones inside of here 
And all you have to do to make this work is you have to pick a layer just like this. So let's say we want to add like a, a transition right here. We click on the layer we want our video effect to apply to, and we can apply like an intense hit with flash. Just double click it and boom, it's literally instantly instantly gonna apply right there so let's go check out a wipe we'll do like a, a crazy wipe right here clicking on it you guys can see the playback right here and see how it's gonna look beforehand just line up where you want it to be double click on it and boom it literally applies right there super super sick this is honestly the craziest thing i've created and the best part is right now if you want to go ahead and grab it you can get two additional editing packs from my website for completely free if you grab fast effects today so if you're interested go check it out we're going to go over a couple more options inside of here so i really love the quick hit with flashes or the soft hit with flash so let's go ahead and add that it has a really unique kind of like hit effect and the quick hit with flash v2 is really cool as well. There's a new update for Fast Effects coming very soon as well. So if you guys have been having bugs with it or any issues, or have been wondering what this new workflow tab is right here, it'll be coming very soon in a free update. So don't worry, you're not gonna be missed out. If you purchase Fast Effects, you'll be sent the free update for completely free, obviously. This is a super easy way to adjust your clips, add adjustment layers, and there's gonna be a bunch more features added inside of here, along with a full on support tab and tutorial guide inside of it. You can create a support ticket if you're having issues and you could respond and see your issue and see how it's being dealt with inside of the plugin as well which is super crazy so if you guys are looking to grab fast effects that'll be linked below if you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know other ones you want to see in the future appreciate you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video peace